Dear colleagues, welcome to this uh, bio brief on the management of a structural socket. My name is Daniele Cardaropoli. I am a periodontist from uh, Torino, Italy. We have uh, an uh, endodontic and prosthetic failure on this uh, upper lateral incisor with uh, gingival recession of uh, the free gingival margin together with uh, the buccal bone that is uh, missing, as we can see from the cone bean uh, evaluation. From uh, the point of view of the risk profile, we see that uh, the bone height at the adjacent tooth is uh, between 5.5 and 6.5 millimeters. And uh, we have a compromised soft tissue anatomy due to the gingival recession with uh, a horizontal bone defect. This situation uh, presents a high risk for aesthetic failure. And uh, so we have the need for a staged approach in order to coronalize the free gingival margin. The treatment plan is uh, about a uh, staged approach with a rigid augmentation procedure at the time of tooth extraction. And so the procedure is uh, with a flapless approach, minimally invasive extraction of uh, the lateral incisor. After uh, the debridement of the socket, uh, we insert uh, the bioguide shape with the long wing of the membrane in contact with uh, the buccal side of the alveolus. And after this, uh, we start uh, with the grafting of the socket using a bone graft. Specifically, we use a gastric bios collagen that is a biomaterial suitable for uh, ridge uh, preservation. As we can see in this uh, image, we have uh, the long wing of the bioguide uh, membrane in contact with uh, the buccal side of the socket. Then uh, the alveolus is grafted with uh, the bios collagen, and then the three remaining wings of uh, the membrane are folded in order to cover the biomaterial, and then the membrane is sutured with a single interrupt sutures to the surroundings of tissues. With this open healing approach, we have uh, an increase in the width of the keratinized tissue, and at the same time, we have a coronalization of the free gingival margin. After four months after the reopening, uh, we can see a complete bone filling of the previous uh, socket with uh, the reestablishment of the buccal bone plate. This uh, will uh, lead to the insertion of a prosthetically guided implant with a final ceramic crown that shows an aesthetic improvement when compared to the baseline. Despite missing the buccal bone plate and the recession of the free gingival margin, this ridge augmentation procedure has been able to provide uh, an adequate quantity and uh, quality of bone for uh, in implant placement uh, four months after ridge preservation procedure. We have to point out that with this uh, kind of surgical approach, we can achieve predictable outcomes in order to maintain long-term stability, both from the aesthetic and the functional point of view. Thank you.